Back to Poison Ivy, a comic that's actually become my favorite series of all time. Last issue ended with Harley Quinn saying she's coming to find Pamela, as well as the Rock Man kicking the bucket. With it ending the first arc of the series, now we're on to the second arc. Despite the setup, Harley Quinn isn't actually in this issue, so I guess that will be next issue, or maybe the issue after that. So I thought I'd just save that just in case if you're excited for her. This issue starts off with us meeting a new villain, Beatrice Crawley, a rich one who Poison Ivy dislikes since she's hurting the environment. As we get narration from Pamela Isley saying that real villains can hide in plain sight, and she would know because she was one. We see outside Beatrice's home where we see a group of people working in her garden. Pam shows up posing as a new girl and then we cut earlier that day, where Pamela's walking through a field as she thinks about how she killed her maker. And she also weirdly finds some weird machine in the middle of crops disturbing plant life, and it really confuses her at first, only for the confusion to just continue when she's attacked by some plant creature. A plant creature she actually recognizes because only her and Woodrow are able to create them. Meaning, if Woodrow's dead, where did this plant creature come from? But Pamela ends up taking care of it and she finds a company name, Power Gas written on a badge. Which makes her speculate that this person, or dead plant creature, was once just a regular human. A group of regular people show up to reveal these monsters have been running a rampage in this town. And it's been ever since this company Future Gas have been putting up these new machines in the crop fields. And this family doesn't want Pamela to tell anyone because it's in exchange for money, insurance, etc. To which Pamela sees and has a plan of her own. And that's when we get to present day. Pamela is carrying a plant in a pot into Beatrice's office. While she isn't there in order to pass her assistant. She looks around her office and ends up getting caught by Beatrice just when she finds the same mushrooms she herself was using. Beatrice, like all villains, break into monologue. However, unlike Mo, she actually keeps her plan not, you know, involved. Rather, just talks about how she has so much pride in her money. Only for her to say the name Poison Ivy, revealing she knows who Pamela is. Who just replies with, oh, screw it, and then just completely attacks her which I thought was hilarious. But then Beatrice reveals they've actually met before, and seemingly is revealed to have been another test subject for Woodrow, with this issue ending with Pamela supposedly dying, which we of course know isn't true. But it is a pretty good cliffhanger, in my opinion. I personally really like this issue. I think Beatrice is a great villain, she's cold and smart, and comes across really strongly in just her first introduction. I mean, yeah, she technically did appear in last issue at the very end, but she yet to actually really do anything until this issue. And that's it. Like always, please like, subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.